Say hi to the camera. <laughs> hi to the camera. What's going on guys, this is from Caesar Media here. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about cameras and recording devices that I use to film my videos for my YouTube channel. So basically what was happening, especially after I hit 100,000 subscribers, is that some of you guys were reaching out to me about what kind of camera gear I use. It seems that some of you guys are YouTubers yourself, you wanna create awesome content, awesome quality videos for your subscribers, and you're coming to me for advice in regards to what kind of cameras and gadgets you should buy. Now, before I get into the details of my camera equipment, I wanna say that when it comes to filming a successful YouTube video, it's not about how much money you dump into these gadgets, into these uh, expensive, super fancy cameras. It's all about the quality, the content that you want to produce. So my first step really is don't go out and spend a couple thousand dollars on nice equipment if you're a new YouTuber. Uh, you can film decent quality videos on one of these things, iPhones or Androids, and you can start out that way. It's all about the content. If you spend five thousand dollars on nice equipment but you're only filming yourself watching TV, nobody's gonna watch that. It's really not about the equipment when it comes to being successful on YouTube. But enough talking, let's get into the types of equipment I use for my videos. The camera I'm using right now to record this exact footage is the Canon G7X and I'm gonna be putting the product link in the video description below so you can check it out yourself and look at the specs and price and all that. But uh, I'm gonna use this camera to show you the camera I use most of the time. That is the Canon 70D. All right, so let's start with the DSLR camera. This is basically the setup I run or used to run for most of my shoots. So I have here the Canon 70D. This camera was actually a downgrade because I used to have a Canon 5D Mark II, which is like a full frame professional camera that you can use to even film TV shows. The whole episode, whole season of House, TV show House, was filmed on the Canon 5D Mark II and that's the camera I used to run. But what I found out after a while is that for one, full frame cameras tend to be a little heavy, it's way more expensive and it doesn't really have good autofocus, at least the Canon 5D Mark II did not. And this is where it beats in autofocus, uh, the weight and the compactness. It's a lot cheaper than the 5D Mark II. Compared to the full frame lens and full frame camera, of course, quality is not as good as that. When you upload videos to YouTube, YouTube actually compresses the footage. So you really start to not notice the difference between like a 70D and a 5D and a 80D. And 80D is the latest revision of this camera. But if you have a 70D, you don't really need to upgrade to 80D. And if you're new coming into the market, I recommend the 70D because 70D you can pick up for way cheaper than 80D and there aren't that many differences between the two. When it comes to the difference between Canon and Nikon, or should I say Nikon, because I'm Japanese, I should say Nikon as an authentic way, uh, I, I see that they're both great cameras. But I noticed that the Canon DSLRs have better autofocus features and better for video usage. So that's why um, I used to have a Nikon back in the days, but now all my equipment is Canon. Uh, the lens I run on this is the Canon EFS 1018. Again, I'll put the product link in the video description below so you can check it out yourself, the price and the specs. Uh, 10 to 18, when I put it on 10, it gives me nice wide angle uh, lens so I can capture a lot and you know I'll do a lot of vlogging like this and it'll capture me but a lot of the background it also comes with stabilization feature as well so uh, when I'm walking around and running around vlogging uh, it makes sure my foot is nice and stabilized on top I have the Rode shotgun microphone which actually, I think there's a newer version out now, but these are essential if you are like a car show or car meet or track days because these are directional microphones. So it only records what you're pointing at. So, you know, if you're vlogging again, it's great because you can talk to the speakers and it kind of fades away the background noise. I also have here the windscreen, which is uh, great for events I go to because a lot of them tend to be windy because I'm out in the field at racetrack or car show or whatever. Lastly, on this setup, I have the Joby Gorilla Pod uh, tripod setup. This thing is actually pretty neat because you can literally stand it up like this 
and you can like wrap it around any way you want I had it like wrapped around my hood you can wrap it around your arm if you want like this it just kind of grips onto anything you want anywhere um, you know one of the times this was convenient was when I was working on my FD I would just kind of put this on my uh, under my hood in the engine bay I would just clamp it on to one of the frames and I'll be looking into the engine bay very easy to use and it's especially good for vlogging because I can walk around holding the bottom like this to kind of give you that the top-down angle so this is the setup I have been using for most of my videos the Canon 70D with the 1018 lens with the tripod combo awesome setup but I recently moved to a new setup which I'm still kind of testing out because as you can see it's kind of bulky it's kind of a huge setup to use so uh, I started looking around and I noticed that a lot of YouTubers are using this camera. So I'm gonna switch over to my Canon 70D so I can record my latest setup. Alright, so now I'm on my Canon 70D filming my Canon G7X. This is the latest addition to my camera collection, should I say. It's really small, really compact. I can probably put it in my pocket. Yep, it does fit in my pocket. Especially with me traveling a lot all over the world, this would be a nice camera to carry around. I can just whip it out real quick and film whatever I want. For as small as it is, the quality is pretty awesome. I mean, you just saw me filming the Canon 70D with this camera. Although the quality is not as good as the 70D, the uh, compactness and the lightness of this camera kind of beats it. It's very easy to use and it has a flip out screen. So it's, what's kind of neat with this camera is that if I want to do more vlogging, I can look at myself as I film myself. Check that out. That's pretty cool, right? If you want to do low angle shots, you can do something like this and film around, you know? One thing I don't like about this camera is that it does not have external mic input. So if I'm at, again, a uh, really loud, windy truck type uh, environment, it's gonna pick up all the background noise. Um, and also another thing I like about this is that it's got zoom. So unlike my Canon, where I have the 1018 zoom lens, this can go up way 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 higher so if i'm on like a drag event or track event where i want to zoom in on cars i can do that with this lens which is very nice a setup i use with the canon g7x is this uh tripod by manfrotto very compact very small very easy to use and the head really this is kind of cool it's a button and the head rotates like this when you push into it so very easy to use I screw this in and do my vlogging videos like this. G7X, easy to use, compact, cheap, and you can check out the uh, product link in the video description below. And lastly, I have the GoPro, Hero 4. I don't really need to talk about this, everybody knows these. Uh, I strapped this on cars on the outside. Pretty much I use this whenever I feel like the camera is gonna get destroyed or flown off the car. These enclosures are pretty durable, but the quality obviously is not as good as DSLR or my G7X. So more disposable setup. Uh, what I wanna do in the future is actually start doing more motor vlogs. I am riding my motorcycle more and more, and I'm actually looking at the uh, Triumphs Speed Triple as uh, like a daily motorcycle. Of course, I'm gonna keep my cafe racer, but uh, I wanna get something that I can ride longer distance. So, what I actually recently bought is a Sena, or should I say Sena, it's not Sena, it's Sena, it's a company that makes um, Bluetooth communication device. So it's a piece you put on your helmet, and you hook it up to a microphone, and you can talk to other Sena users, use, users uh, that you're riding with. So I'm gonna, a uh, couple of my friends have the Sena device, I'm gonna be talking to them, and I'm gonna be recording it, with my GoPro and the audio will be also recorded as well. So that's gonna be a cool uh, motor vlog videos I think I'm gonna be able to film. So with the Sina microphone, Sina Bluetooth unit, I have the Sina backpack mount, should I say, for the GoPro, it just snaps in like this. And it captures the audio with 
the uh, footage synchronized. So I'm looking forward to using this little piece. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing uh, more vlogs in the future, I recommend, I highly recommend this setup because a lot of YouTubers seems to be using this. So that's about it for today, guys. I hope you found that educational, informative, and helpful. As I always say, my YouTube channel, I mean, although it's focused on cars and bikes, it's all about helping you guys out. So if you guys want to start out YouTube channel, if you guys want to know tips and tricks, how to be successful, that's the videos I'll be making too. So I hope you find these products useful for your YouTube channel. Like I said, I'll be putting the product link in the video description below, so check it out. And uh, thanks for watching my video as always. Let me know if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook. And see you in my next video. Peace.